Hello everyone. The last couple episodes really have been a crazy ride and it seems like that a huge plot twist is coming with the reveal of the juggernaut Astro. And there have also been some connections of this juggernaut Skibidi toilet with some of the previous characters of the Skibidi universe. And you are going to be thrilled to hear that. Whose connection is with the juggernaut toilet and who he actually is. Because Boom literally gave away his identity, but still no one was able to get it. And he also dropped a hint in the latest episode, but most of the people want to know that when'll we get to see episode 73? And today I have the answer to it, but will G-Man die? Is this the end for the original toilets and did Simp Cameraman created the Astro toilets because there's a strong sign that he did? And why's Titan Speaker Man's cannon broken in the GIF image that Boom shared and wasn't broken in episode 72, as well as Titan Cameraman's jetpack? But before we get into all of this stuff, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, here we go. So the first thing we have here is this Astro Juggernaut. So do you know who's behind this? Well, if you have a look closer onto the side of this guy where the cannon is, we actually see a cat's paw and not gonna lie. This looks like a cat's paw. Now it does give a hint that the guy behind this is the Ski Bitey Cat, and it means that Ski Bitey Cat is back. But how the hell did he became an Astro? Well, here comes a really interesting part of the story, but let's get everything in order. So if Ski Beady Cat is back and is an Astro now, it means that every single Ski Beady toilet to ever live can also be converted into a Ski Beady. And if there's a Ski Beady Cat, there may be many more Ski Beady Cats or dogs. But this all just seems something that's never going to happen. But yeah, after seeing the paw, it seems like that the only person behind this mask is none other than the beloved Ski Beady Cat. But how'd the ski beady cat became an astro? And how'd he become so much powerful? Well, only one in one man stands behind all this. But we'll get to him after getting a bit more deeper into the juggernaut toilet. So in my opinion, the skibidi cat might be the scientist of the astro toilets, and they were betrayed by G Toilet and Scientist. And that's when the skibidi toilet cat started upgrading the astro toilets, and also designed a decoy for himself to hide. And if you give him a closer look behind the mask, we actually can see a skin. And this is most likely not a human skin, because it seems like cat fur. So this also confirms that this is Ski Beady Toilet Cat. But other than this, we actually can also see a little gun at the bottom of the Juggernaut Astro. And I can't really say if it's a gun or is it something else. Although this is shaped like a laser cannon, so it might be a cannon to defeat smaller and weaker enemies like the ones that Scientist Toilet have, but what about the shield that this guy has? Well, while G-Man's laser are being shot at it, we can actually witness that how it's absorbing the energy because the particles are moving like crazy and this shield is attached with this object which is floating and it means that Bro can send this shield anywhere. And this object might also have a brain of its own, just like Titan TV Man's screen do, but now let's move on. So who actually seems behind all this Astro Toilet drama well, it's none other than Simp Cameraman as he has started to appear in the episodes because we actually also saw him in the extra scenes and also in the first part of episode 72 as well as in the gif that Boom shared and Boom's actions and posts always have meanings behind them. And he also told us that he has interesting plans for Simp Cameraman. And it seems like that he's revenge is bigger than just getting revenge from TV Woman. Seems like he's the one who brought the Astro Toilets. And it seems like that he helped the Ski Bitty Cat and the Astro Toilets to transform themselves into such powerful toilets. And lastly, when he appeared, there was a debate. But after processing the photo, we actually can see that, how there's green glow in the camera. So yeah, it seems like that simp cameraman is going to take his revenge from the Toilets and the Alliance forces. But what about the episode and the hints that Boom provided, even though Boom has told us that episode 73 will be in parts and will most likely come out faster, but people want to know exactly when will it come out. So yeah, I'm here for y'all. But before we get into that, I want to talk about something else. Remember this GIF that Boom shared a few days ago? Well, if you actually give Titan Speaker Man a closer look, we actually can see that how he's missing a shoulder speaker, while in the full version of episode 72, we actually can see that how the shoulder speaker is totally fine. So this gif is probably about the events that occur in episode 73, and we also can see G-Man and the Titans, but G-Toilet is fine. 
So this means that G Toilet will escape and won't die in the next episode. But what about Titan Cameraman? Why is his astro arm rotating while it seems like that he ain't controlling it? And secondly, why is his jetpack's second wing missing? And what's the red-shirted cameraman doing here as well as Plunger and Dark Speaker Man? Well, if all of these guys are in the gift, then it seems like that we might get to see in the future episodes and Plunger Man and Dark Speaker Man will also be back. But what about this arm? Why the hell is it rotating on its own? Well, it probably is because it's still under G-Man's possession and Titan Cameraman ain't moving it. And this proves it correct that G-Toilet can kill Titan Cameraman and Titan Cameraman will receive severe injuries in this upcoming battle because of G-Toilet having possession and using this. He can also use Titan Cameraman to fight with the other two Titans. And it seems like he can also get control of Titan TV Man's sword and arm, doing this or even his screen. And if this happens, then it seems like Titan TV Man's done for sure, and using these abilities of his G-Man might become the strongest of them all, even stronger than the new Juggernaut Toilet, just because of this ability. But then why did he ran away from him, and why didn't he use this ability on him, and in the start of the battle with the Astro Toilet? Well, it seems like that it takes a lot of energy from Jimmy's core, and that's the reason to why he didn't use it at the start or against the Juggernaut Astro Toilet because Blood knew that if he did that, he ain't gonna survive the battle with the Titans, and he has to push the Titans back, and G man always has a counter plan on everything. So it seems to me that Bro might have a backup plan to kick the shit out of these Titans, and Titan Cameraman has already given it away that he's gonna be dead. Or maybe not, because in the GIF he actually appears to be all right, but just the wing is gone. So it means that this won't cost him much except a wing which leads to instability while flying. But yeah, he didn't also flew away to where Jimmy and Titan Speaker Man went. But what if Titan TV Man gets stuck into the battle with the Juggernaut Toilet and G-Man crushes and crumbles the other two Titans? Because there's a high of this happening, and this is a scenario in which G-Man could save himself from the Titans and escape while going to hibernation mode. And again, getting himself the craziest and most overpowered upgrades of all time. Because as Boom said, we'll most likely now get to see the Astro Toilets in the spotlight for some time fighting with the Alliance forces. And there's also a high chance for a new race's arrival that helps the original Toilets fighting with the Astros and the Alliance forces. As now that the original Toilets are getting beaten up pretty badly by both the Astros, the Titans, and even are no match against the normal agents from all the races, and people have also been searching about what the scientist TV man will do with this Astro Claw. And it seems like that bro bout to make the large TV men crazily upgraded with the new Astro technology on the Alliance's side, and it seems like that he's gonna give insane speed to the characters of his race by giving him these abilities and using this. The Alliance could also learn that how to store crazy blows of energy by just one single arm, no matter how crazy the power is. But when is episode 73? So episode 73 is coming out faster, and it's been more than seven days ever since the episode 72 part two was released, but only two days ever since the full version was uploaded. So maybe we can expect episode 73 in a week or so, and maybe the upcoming episodes will all be coming out after a week and way faster than we expect. A leak might be dropping out, but what about some more info about the episode? So episode 72 was with parts, and episode 73 will also be, but there won't be any parts in episode 74, meaning that there won't be crazy fights in the episode, but something that we all would want to see, maybe the return of Simp Cameraman. 